Hey guys, how's it going on? Today we're here for episode number 10 of the Crystal Pie. So if you're as hyped as I am, please make sure to subscribe and turn, um, turn? Yeah, turn on the notification bells and drop a like as well. So as you can see, the season's ended. No, I said in the last episode I was going to come back for, uh, I believe I said the Wolves game in which we won. Um, but pretty much, um, that video was a bag of shit and I'm not going to lie. Uh, um, I basically recorded the Sheffield United game instead, um, because yes, uh, basically this week I've had a really busy week, and so I thought in my evening I'll just play for all the games and then I'll just do Sheffield United. Uh, but the video was a bag of shit, so I thought <laughs> I might as well just record a quick video and just basically explain to you kind of a season review. We'll, we'll call it that. It's a season review. Um, so you might have seen um, we finished twelfth. Which is four places high, uh, four, two places higher than um, Crystal Palace managed in real life. Although I do believe we finished a point less than them, and I think that's a lot to do with our ability to do in kind of these types of games here. In the Chelsea's the Liverpool game, we lost to teams who we shouldn't probably where. You know, we had good bits of form that we just didn't build on. And I think that season, that's something that we're going to have to look at quite heavily. And I think where that we look at that is going to be in where you'd look at and say, like, because this is, uh, I'll just get the starting 11 of how I think it should be played. Um... Obviously, Chong's on loan, so Chong's going. So, for most of the season, it was that. That was our 11. I know, obviously, Van Drogman is in, but Sacco's a bag of shit. He's on his cancel. Um, I think we, we we should be looking to get Chong on loan again next season. Uh, it's something that I think would... Uh, he definitely... 16 appearances, three, uh, three goals. Uh, it, it was really good. And even if we can't get... Chong, even if we can get someone similar of his ability to come in who can play across this middle three, will be excellent. Um, I don't. I, I do have a couple of players in mind. I think for the Chong role, uh, Eze probably from uh, QPR, obviously signed in real life, would be someone who I'd want to kind of go. Yeah, uh, I think this midfield spot here needs sorting out. I think Kiate, although he. Um, as well had uh, a really good season got too many red cards and i believe he's getting all on a bit as well yeah he's 30 so probably good uh sako definitely needs moving on he's shit he's absolutely shit um uh mariano i'm definitely not going to be paying that 12 and a half million to to buy him so as well that's probably a position that we're going to look at um getting someone in um, but yeah, overall then, um, I kind of think that we definitely can build off this. You can see we weren't really too far off getting like a good top half finish. So hopefully next season we can do that. But yeah, I just thought I'd do this ni nice quick update. Um, Friday's episode is not, is pretty sure it's going to be, uh, probably a transfer video. Um, is there anything else I need to say? Um, I'll be doing uh, as well, yeah. Um, when FIFA comes out, I'll be doing career mode content for that. I've just got to wait for the database to come out to kind of decide who I want to do. But yeah, this is just basically a quick update um, on the series. Uh, season 2 is coming soon. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace!